we believe that 360-degree feedback is one of the most cost-effective and valuable personal development tools available. It's a great way of developing self-awareness and identifying what you can do to have a better impact on the people you work with. However, it can be all too easy to read your report and do nothing more. But neither individuals nor organizations get any benefit if the recipient doesn't do something differently as a result of that feedback. Our 360 reports include a range of optional analytics and lenses. These provide different ways of looking at and exploring the feedback to help you and the individual identify what they can do differently. One of these we call Papu Nanu, which stands for Positive Aware, Positive Unaware, Negative Aware, and Negative Unaware. You would use this to sort and prioritize the feedback and to highlight what will be the most helpful for the individual in development planning. It's also a really good way of balancing strengths and the things that others value in the individual against the more critical feedback that represents something to work on. At its heart is an analysis of the differences between the individual's own responses and those of everybody else and the relatively high and low scores across their feedback. There are four different panes and each one represents some positive opportunities associated with that feedback. For instance, where a person has scored themselves highly, and others have too, we call this the agreed strengths box. The opportunity here is to make the most of those strengths, find roles or projects that play to them, or coach and mentor others in this area. Good news is when others score an individual higher than they score themselves. Look for opportunities to use these strengths more. Where there is a marked difference between their scores and those of their feedback respondents, and the individual score is higher than the feedback providers, we call these hidden talents. They are things that the person feels they are doing often or well, but they are not being observed by others. Think about how you can bring others' perceptions more in line with your own. What do you need to do more of, share, or communicate more clearly to people? The agreed development areas are just that. They are areas already known to need work. We find organizing feedback like this really helps people to look at their feedback more constructively and leads to much more productive conversations. It's action that matters, and this is all about driving behavioral change and helping people develop. Getting the feedback organized makes the feedback conversation more fruitful. Talent360 has these features built in. Get in touch to learn more.